in the white and dark green silks. Hello guys, race for results. About a length and a half away by a line of three. There's a and Hamilton Park, let's go. Of Buford and Utma Way, and then a couple of lengths back off those is Great Kalachi as they make the left-handed turn and enter the button hook. Uh, back in behind Great Kalachi races Pursuer, and uh, the only one pursuing uh, Pursuer is uh, Yakabar, who at this uh, stage would be around about uh, seven or eight lengths uh, only off at the pace, as they now gallop on towards the furthest point uh, away from us. And uh, taking over now Loch Neighbor in the hands of Amy Watt, Loch Neighbor herself racing a little bit freely. But is in the lead now by three parts of a length, make that a length. Over Ghostly in second, back in third is a Desert Quest. Oop my way in the black and yellow jacket over towards the inside. Another one length back is Buford, who races half a length in advance of Great Kalachi, and then a two length gap to the last couple pursuer, who's a little wider out of Yakabar. So Loch Neighbor just uh, pressing on a little bit now and shows by a good three lengths as they swing back towards the entrance to the home straight. And from here, they have five and a half furlongs of their journey left. It is Loch Neighbor and Amy Watt in a clear lead over Ghostly and Desert Quest. Desert Quest coming a little bit closer to Ghostly. Further back in fourth is Utma Way. Next is Buford down the outside of Great Kalachi, being ridden along at the back end of the field, Pursuer. And Yakabar is still just about last of all as they head down inside the final four. Loch Neighbor then continuing to show out in the lead and is at three lengths to the good over Desert Quest in at second and uh, then towards the inside is Utma Way with Ghostly being ridden along Great Kalachi in a bit of a pocket Buford down the outside in the white and red colors next is Yakabar and in rear Pursuer but heading on towards the final two furlongs Loch Neighbor appear to get a bit of a breather in coming down the hill and appears to be absolutely tanking here one and a half to go they're all really going to have to go some to get to Loch Neighbor who's not even been asked any sort of questions here by Amy Woff enters the final furlong with a five length lead surely it's all over the race is going to be on for the places desert quest oop my way great kalachi uh, but this was a one horse race pretty much from the entrance to the home straight lock neighbor has torn them apart beating into second place desert quest out wide a great kalachi in company with the staying on yakabar and oop my way in between rivals well, that was an extraordinary performance by Loch Neighbor, the mayor by Franco, who carries the Summerstone Bloodstock Limited colours. That's a, that's a Bloodstock company locally based to Hamilton Park. And she's run them ragged. She's won by several lengths from Desert Quest in second place. From it blazed out her face. Trace. Side, leading them all off now is Alpha Moonstone. They're tracked closely by Who Goes There, who runs just in company with Indication Spirit and DC Flyer to the far side of those. Next in running is Dear Mary, and outpaced at the newcomer I'm Spartacus along last. Well through halfway and on towards the final quarter of a mile. Under the stands rails, Alpha Moonstone pushed up to challenges San Kari. They're being followed by Indication Spirit and uh, then comes who goes there and lady showcasing as Sankari goes on a furlong left to travel Sankari has moved away now from Alpha Moonstone indication spirit to the far side is running home nicely further back to who goes there but it is Sankari in front and doing best in the run to the line Sankari by two lengths is going to record a second career win and does it nicely beating indication spirit a promising run on debut and they were followed by who goes there at Alpha Moonstone yeah, good performance uh, by Sankari from uh, in second place, Indication Spirit. It's close for third. It is a photo for third between Alpha Moonstone and who goes there. Really good run by the second, incidentally, on day. Withdrawn at Mahigbun. Race three. Further messages with regards, Mahigbun, to follow. This is the Hamilton Park EBF maiden stakes, and uh, Mysterious in a sheepskin noseband got out well and leads down the hill. A length and a half to the good over Side Kingman, who races freely down the near side of T's Warrior just up in behind those is that's for sure and uh, that one being tracked by Al Ghalib who's in the red with the white sleeves and cap Johnny Concrete in a green colored jacket is over towards the far side and deeper out of that one is Cerulean Bay and in rear the Bitter Moose and uh, Lubier heading on down towards the final two and a half furlongs and in the sheepskin nose band Mysterious who got that good beginning continues to lead up by half a length only though to side Kingman who's coming there strongly that's for sure looking for a way out and is now forced to switch Al Galib also down the stand side over towards the far side Johnny Concrete in company with Cerulean Bay a few chances on entering the final furlong Mysterious has dropped away it is Side Kingman who has the lead chased hard by Johnny Concrete also that's for sure try 
trying hard to dig in and over to the far side cerulean bay down the stands railed side kingman just ahead johnny concrete coming back for more cerulean bay on the far side very close indeed with close up as well that's for sure it's going to go to the judge judge fraser Perra has called a full to finish and that's a three-way goal for me sarah lee and bay one of those involved along with side kingman far side sarah lee and bay in between johnny concrete i think sarah they've gone without all right Dora. and further messages with regard to her to follow this is the scottish racing supporting oh. hashtag racing with pride at handicap we're down to five now iris dancer the early leader ahead of Burra in the blue, the yellow to the far side at Havana Room, the dark blue and yellow of Glorious Rio, and in the light green colours, Derwent Boy is at the back marker. So racing more or less down the centre of the track this time, and they're being led by the already dual course winner Iris Dancer, and shows in front by half a length over Burra in a second spot. And then away to the far side is Havana Room. Glorious Rio close up in behind them, gets a toe into the race, and ridden along now Derwent Boy to the far side. Less than two furlongs to go. Iris Dancer now coming under a ride. Burra in the blue colours looks a threat. Away to the far side, Havana Room with Derwent Boy, and Glorious Rio who needs to pick up. Iris Dancer is picking up though, and to the cheers of the crowd, boots away again by a length inside the last, giving chases Havana Room, then Glorious Rio down the stand side, but look at Iris Dancer, really pouring it on in the closing stages and runs out a popular winner. Iris Dancer beating into second place Havana Rum and then Glorious Rio do and boy and Burrow. Yeah, she did it well from the front. Um, change of time. Taking over Everett. by half a length as they head uphill and around the loop. Back in third is Hale End and then in fourth Obama Army. Chased next by along the inside Lunacy, who's now just in front of Odell's star and two lengths away to Red Shield in the white and red colours, the back marker. So continuing their progress uh, right handed and on towards the entrance to the home straight, and they're now six furlongs from the judge. Mickey Mongoose, the winner at Brighton from eight days ago, shows in front uh, clearly now under Joe Fanning and is at more than a length ahead over Quen Hild, who races deeper out of Hale End. Two lengths back off those in fourth is Obama Army, with up the inside Lunacy running next. That one a place better than Odell's star, and last of all is Red Shield. They're on the descent and now galloping down inside their final half a mile, still with Mickey Mongoose playing role of the hair. Mickey Mongoose by a length over Quen Hild in second, Hale End in a pocket running in third. Fourth to the outside is Obama Army just in front of Lunacy, shaken up Odell's star, and away to the far right is Red Shield. They head down towards the final two and a half furlongs. Mickey Mongoose still with the call. Hale End now has daylight and begins to surge at the leader with back in behind them. Lunacy towards the inside of Obama Army. Quen Hill dropping away and the others with work to do as Hale End now comes through to make his presence felt and takes Mickey Mongoose. Inside the final furlong, Hale End goes on from Mickey Mongoose. Obama Army running on, is back in third, might well challenge for second, but has no chance of getting to Hale End, who's in the clear, and Hale End is going to run out a decisive winner. Obama Army is up for second, Mickey Mongoose is third, and fourth home is Lunacy. Plenty of people who clearly have backed this uh, Hale End. Gareth, uh, our commentator, fancied him. Mark and I thought he was about due up. Stay at Hampton by Hilton, Bothwell Castle, Philly. Six race. Up gone not given much peace up front as powdering along the inside forces the issue and sets a good pace as they race right-handed and uphill at present around the button hook gone at present has to be content with uh, racing in second they are three lengths ahead of in third what acre grace oriental lily also in black and yellow colors is a little wider out of butterfly island and uh, two lengths uh, back to last year's winner koza sara who was slow to start and at present uh, trails the leader by around about uh, eight lengths as they now straighten up for home and gallop on down for the final five furlongs. They're being led by the handicap newcomer Powdering, who is uh, a length ahead of the four-timer seeking gone, with back in third at One Acre Grace, Oriental Lily down the outside of Butterfly Island, and Koza Sara who runs the rails, but is now coming closer as the field just tighten up a little bit on the downhill run towards at the final three furlongs. 
powdering in front by three parts of a length for Overgone, who travels well the dark green sleeves. Kozasara burrowing away through along the inside of a now pushed along the Wad Acre Grace with out wider Butterfly Island also working hard and Oriental Lily now the back marker. Gone shaken up down the outside of Powdering as they make the run down inside the final furlong and a half and uh, Powdering trying to make Gone work and is succeeding with back in behind them Kozasara. Uphill they go to the line. Gone really has a scrap on here. Powdering towards the inside has set the pace. Is still just ahead to Gone. Gone not going away powdering and gone Kozasara closing on them back in third powdering and gone and it's powdering powdering along the inside of gone it will probably go to the judge without wider of them Kozasara and those three in a line were well clear of what acre grace German Oz, but only Seven to the for this the racing tv.com classified stakes and they're tightly grouped through the early stages with our Dicky going to push the pace along and shows by a length to the keenly going retirement beckons up around the outside and races without cover. Mac Haley is also lying up handily and through along the inside Samurai Sneds as they now make the right-handed turn around the button hook. We're back in behind those Royal Countess Mad Artie Maze along the inside of Goblet of Fire. That one with the red Sorry. sleeves and in rear Sorry. cheese and wide with only Jaminoz behind. It is now ten lengths first to last as our Dickey and Andrew Mullen lead the field right-handed back towards the home straight. They're a length and a half to the good over Mac Haley running in second, the hoop sleeves and cap. And then Sammy Rice Neds to the rails in third, retirement beckons is in fourth. Mad Artie Maze is in fifth as they now begin the run down the hill towards the final five furlongs. Uh, back in behind Mad Artie Maze is Royal Camtess who's in purple and yellow silks, Goblet of Fire towards the inside. And in rear cheese and wine and Jaminoz is now coming forward a little wider out. Continuing on the descent, and from here, three and a half furlongs left to go. And it is the favorite, Our Dicky, bringing them back past their point of departure, a length ahead. Over in second position, and now ridden along Mac Haley. Likewise, retirement beckons. Sammy Rice Neds towards the inside. Mad Artie Maze is trying to pick up, along with Royal Countess. And Goblet of Fire, the Red Sleeves, is now out into the clear and starts to run on. But they've all got a bit of catching up to do. It is Our Dicky with a furlong and a half to go. Goblet of Fire is staying on down the outside of Mac Haley and Sammy Rice Neds. Mad Artie Maze is next. It could be a long last furlong here for Our Dicky. In second position, Goblet of Fire is still closing. Our Dicky from Goblet of Fire. Goblet of Fire is eating up the ground towards the near side. Our Dicky now being claimed by Goblet of Fire. And Goblet of Fire times it right under Alex Jerry. Beats Our Dicky. Mad Artie Maze running on down the outside of Mac Haley. And up there inside was Sammy Rice Neds. Yeah, the runner-up matched at 20s on in the...